So you have to say, when it comes to different meals of the day, breakfast is the most important one. We've always heard that why, because it's the first thing you put into your body, which gives you fuel to tackle on the day. The problem is sometimes we get so busy that we skip breakfast, which is a total no-no, or you get stuck in a routine and eat the same thing all the time. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a breakfast recipe that is so good, it's gonna completely blow you away. We're talking the ultimate breakfast sandwich. This sandwich has so many great flavors to it. It's super easy to make and it comes together in just 15 minutes, folks. This is a breakfast sandwich that is worth getting out of bed for. Let's begin by making a very simple Spanish romesco sauce, which is the backbone of this sandwich. I'm gonna add in five jarred roasted red bell peppers into a food processor. We'll also add in a quarter cup of tomato paste, which is 55 grams. Eight toasted hazelnuts. The ones that I'm using are store-bought, so they were already pre-roasted. Eight toasted almonds. Once again, these are store-bought, so they're already pre-roasted. One clove of garlic that I cut in half. And we'll add in one teaspoon of vinegar, which is five milliliters. I'm using sherry vinegar, but you can use whatever vinegar you like. And a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 60 milliliters. We'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll run the food processor on a low speed between two to three minutes or until we end up with a beautiful creamy sauce. And that's the exact texture you want from your mesco sauce, a beautiful thick and creamy sauce. For the next step, let's start frying up our eggs. I'm gonna grab a small fry pan, heat it with a medium heat, and we'll add in a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 60 milliliters. As you can see, I'm using a smaller fry pan here. I like to fry my eggs one at a time. If you like to fry them two or three at a time, you should use a larger pan and use the same amount of oil. While the oil is heating, let's get our eggs ready. For this recipe, I'm using some cage-free organic eggs, but you can use whatever eggs you like. But you know the old saying, the higher the quality, the better the overall flavor. And I like to crack each egg into individual bowls. Then when we add the eggs into the pan, it ensures two things, that no eggshells go in there and that the yolks are not broken. After heating the olive oil for about four minutes, it should be nice and hot, but as you can see, it's not smoking, so it hasn't lost any of its beautiful flavor. At this point, I'm gonna add in one of the eggs into the pan. Now the style of eggs we are cooking are crispy style Spanish eggs, which means those egg whites are gonna be nice and crispy and that yolk beautiful and creamy. The secret is let that egg sit there for exactly a minute, then we can crisp up in the bottom. After exactly one minute, I'm gonna tilt the pan and splash some of that hot olive oil over the egg to cook the top part of the egg white and the egg yolk, but you don't wanna add too much oil, otherwise you're gonna overcook that egg yolk. And we'll remove the egg from the pan. And continue to cook the rest of your eggs in this technique until they're all done. Once all the eggs have been fried, I'm gonna season them with a little sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. All right, let's start assembling our sandwiches. For the bread, I'm gonna be using a baguette. I love to use a baguette because it adds such an incredible texture to these sandwiches, but you can use whatever bread you like. If you're using a bread that's a little too flimsy, make sure you toast it beforehand, that way the sandwich doesn't fall apart. I'm gonna cut the baguette into pieces that are four inches apart, which is about 10 centimeters and we'll cut each piece of baguette in half lengthwise. Then I'm gonna add in some of the reserved gourmesco sauce over the bread. You wanna make sure to add in a generous portion, and you also wanna add it on both slices, which is gonna give a beautiful lift of flavors to the sandwich. For the next ingredient, I'm gonna cut some thin slices from a block of manchego cheese. The manchego cheese that I'm using has been aged for six months, so it's got a nice bite to it, but it's not overpowering. However, you can use whatever cheese you want for the sandwich, but try looking out for the manchego cheese as it gives the sandwich a beautiful lift of Spanish flavors. And we'll add a couple slices into the sandwich. Then we'll add in one of our crispy fried eggs over the cheese, and we'll top it off with a handful of rucola. Check it out, our breakfast sandwich is then what I like to call the ultimate breakfast sandwich. Easy to make, beautiful flavors, and all done in just 15 minutes. Let's give this a try and see how it turned out. Mm. 
Seriously, look how good that turned out. Here we go. We definitely need a napkin for this one. It is so good. Make sure I'm all clean here. Just five elements to this breakfast sandwich. You got that baguette. So important to use a baguette. It adds an incredible texture. The fried egg manchego cheese, that rucola for freshness, and that very simple Spanish romesco sauce, which wraps it all together for a huge bunch of Spanish goodness. You saw this. Very easy to make. Simple ingredients. Try this at home. You will not believe how good it is. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Joan Killico, Tommy Williams, Clarence Boland, Carson Korn, and Martin Giddings. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, consider becoming one as it really helps with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego. Alright folks, it is a wrap. And like no joke, I don't think there's a better way to start your day than this. So good. That camera's off. We're done here.